right, so first off, first things first, we wanted to just thank everybody for sticking with us and really putting up with like what I know is annoying, you know, seeing all of the old videos coming up. Um, some of our hardcore OGs mm -hmm. that have been with us from the beginning, even at our old channel. Um, you know, a lot of you have been amazing, even commenting and, and watching through our, our videos that you've already seen before, but now they're coming over to the new channel. Uh, I know that in the last video we had sat down, when we were sitting down on Dexter's bed, we had said that we were going to go, you know, new video, old video, new video, old video, or something like that. Um, we had to abandon that idea because we knew that everything was going to be out of order and crazy and we, we really just didn't want to have it permanently like out of order. So I know it's been annoying, but we just wanted to get those videos up. I actually went over to see Shelly at From the Crazy Middles um, and she was, you know, advising me with the whole switch and everything that realistically it would probably be best to just get those old videos up even if you have to do two a day just get them up and then down the road if people like our new subscribers want to see you know our history they can you know and so that's pretty cool obviously Dex is having a great old time with this um, but anyway without further ado we wanted to answer some of your questions and really kind of explain everything that's been going on. We've really had a lot going on, huh, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that was nice. Okay, so, first question first. What is the first question? Uh, Can you read it? Can you read it? How old is Dex? I don't know. Six! He's six. six. Okay, so he just turned six, and one of the new videos that's coming out is literally his yeah. birthday and his graduation and, and really all of that stuff. Um, I am so proud of you, buddy. I can't believe that we have a six-year-old. It's kind of weird, actually, like weird. to think about the fact that we have a little six-year-old. Um, I remember literally singing happy birthday to him at his third-year-old birthday party. actually born in Las Vegas. Uh, we lived there at the time and you know uh, I can't remember the name of the hospital but I don't know. Yeah. it was actually a horrible yeah. experience. His birth. We're gonna <laughs> have to do an rough. entire video on just how everything went wrong with when he was born. I mean it was a disaster. You yeah. know we are still getting letters from that hospital apologizing for how bad of a mess up that they, I mean, it was bad. Like, they're they are terrified that we're going to sue them, I think is the situation. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, let's see. And where are you from? Oh, well, I forgot. Yeah, so I'm from <laughs> California, so. Right. Cynthia and I are both actually originally from California, or that's where we were born and raised, mostly. Um, we actually met in Las Vegas, but oh, I'm, I'm jumping ahead. I'm jumping ahead. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on, moving on. Okay. What do you do for work? Oh, uh, wait. Oh, I missed one, but I guess that's. How and okay. when did you meet? <laughs> oh, how uh, and when did you meet? Okay. Uh, well, I met you when you were a baby. Uh, you were my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Is that silly? Uh, so. We actually worked at the same restaurant and, you know, I guess we probably have different versions of the story, but I, we worked at the same restaurant, so we already knew each other, but I would say the moment when we started like flirting with each other was I was walking uh, through the restaurant and I saw Cynthia at the top of the stairs and she already knows the story that I'm going to tell right now, but I saw Cynthia at the top of the stairs 
and she just was so beautiful and just so radiant and I looked up at her and I walked up up the stairs to her um, and I was like wow you know you're really beautiful or something like that like it wasn't even like I can't remember what I said it was like it was pretty smooth though all I know is it was really smooth and it was basically like uh, I, don't, I don't know what I said. <laughs> Do you even remember what I said? I don't remember. Um, it was a long time ago. When oh, we met. Right. So yeah. yeah, that was about eight years ago. Okay. Yeah. Gosh, it feels like 40. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. What do you do for work? What do we do for work? Okay. Mm -hmm. so well, we're working all the time. You all already know that I do video content creation, um, obviously for this channel, but also for for other YouTubers and other um, you know anybody that needs video content, whether it's commercials or TV shows or whatever. Uh, that's 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 me. But yeah, um, I am a server at a restaurant or restaurants, or bars, or anywhere that you can serve. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty rough after COVID, so. Right, that's true too, that's true that's too. Like, yeah, the quarantine was really tough on that industry. It really was. How did, how did you come up with the name? How did we come up with the name Dexter? Yeah. I don't even know. Um, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> So I think it was his sister actually that uh, came up with the name Dexter and she brought it to us right, and then we right. just kind of said it over and over. Yeah, and I think at the time, because we were really struggling, I remember it was like, it was down to the line. Like we, we would come up with something and then, oh no, you know how it is. Like you, oh no, in high school I, I knew somebody named blah blah and I, yeah. I hated them and blah, blah blah, you know, so you change the name and you change the name and change the name. Um, and then you think you have one and then someone comes in with a new name and you're like, oh, but I like that one, you know, ugh. It was, there was a lot going on. But one of the big factors for me was that I wanted the name to be able to be shortened into something that we could say every day. You know what I mean? Like some people have a name that gets shortened to something and you're like, well, I named you this. I didn't want it to be shortened into something I didn't like, you know? And so we thought when we heard Dexter, the obvious shortened version is Dex, you know, yeah. and we were both like, yeah, I could call my son Dex. Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. Ah, that's pretty good. All right, what's the next question, Dex? What are your favorite colors? Oh, well, what's your favorite color? Red and blue and green. Red oh. and blue and green, okay. <laughs> okay, all you right. Get, you get a trifecta, okay. That's Sounds pretty good, three mm -hmm. and one. What about you? Uh, my favorite color is turquoise. I knew it. Boom. Turquoise. I was right. I was saying it in my head. I was like, Dad, Dad, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is actually black. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, what's your shirt? Like my shirt. Yes, exactly. I actually do my best. Um, this is uh, a little backstory about Cynthia and I's relationship. When we first started living together, she went into my closet and was literally making fun of me because all of my stuff was, it was black, 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 gray, black, 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 yeah. blue, black, 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 gray, gray. like it was so bad. Black, 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 um, I really, I really didn't branch out much and I still kind of need to like get some new clothes and maybe branch <laughs> out to some, you know, I think, uh, okay, so Cynthia, I don't even know, it was probably six months ago, bought me this turquoise shirt <laughs> to try and like get some more colors in there. And it's like, it's like, <laughs> I just can't do it. I don't know. I feel like people are like, when I walk into a room, people are like, Ooh. like this is the yeah. brightest dude in the room. Yeah, maybe. It does happen, know. yeah. So, all right, what do we got next? Okay. What's your favorite food? No, oh, what is our favorite food? Hmm, what's my favorite? favorite food I think is, I know the answer to this one. I, my favorite food is pizza. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I thought I like said it in my head. Um, pizza and okay, I'm gonna guess yours and you guess mine. Okay, so not fair. I would say her favorite food is hot Cheetos. Uh, 
favorite snack. Oh, that's because that's a chip. That counts. No, that's 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 a favorite chip. Okay, yeah. so favorite like food. Like food. Food. Food's gotta be food. Okay. Uh, food. 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 Favorite food that's okay. Then candy. Does that not count? No, candy's what? Not. Okay, so candy's candy. Every day, I, she would eat candy and hot Cheetos every day. It's like that. If you wouldn't die if you did that, she would do that. You know. So, um, let's see. Uh, Mexican food. Or, I mean, that counts as food. That counts as one. That's like a broad category. I don't know. Um, tacos. My favorite food is pizza. <laughs> what? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, right. okay. Yeah, right. I said pizza. I can eat pizza every day. I wonder so. where you get the from. I said pizza, okay. but the, I, I will say that's pretty fair. She does, in fact, request pizza all the time. I could have pizza. But you're not going to get mine. It's a Mexican hamburger. Not even close. It's sushi. <laughs> not even close. That was pretty close. You really what? Like sushi? Mexican hamburger? That's, I will see. Sushi would have been my next. So yeah, totally close. You technically didn't get mine. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Exactly. Okay. See, I guess we don't know each other. We live, we've been living together for like 10 years, too. I know. So true. Okay, so what's next? What do we got? Um, favorite chips. Favorite chips? Oh, well, I already, I already dropped the, <laughs> dropped the bag on that one. I didn't, I didn't read ahead. I didn't my read ahead. Chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate chips is still. I mean, yes. I guess I didn't specify. To be fair, potato yeah. chips. I guess. You like chocolate chips? Oh, yeah. What's your favorite chip? You can have a bag of chocolate chips. Ah, uh, I don't know that I have a favorite chip. I would just say like the corn tortillas. <laughs> oh like, you God. eat corn tortillas the most out of okay. any chips. They are a classic. <laughs> they are. <laughs> It's That's a staple. It's a staple. That's okay. all you eat. It's, just, it's so weird. And they're so plain. It's just corn tortillas. Okay, speaking of plain, did you know that Cynthia does not eat peanut butter and jelly? Okay? She eats <laughs> peanut butter sandwiches. What kind of crazy person eats peanut butter sandwiches? I mean, they're peanut so, butter and jelly. Amazing. What? It's an American so staple. And rich. They're so good. <laughs> on on white yeah, bread, mama. nothing else. No, but so, a little banana, a little honey, like nope, nope. When Peanut butter you're bread, lazy. bread. That's it. I <laughs> I literally went. I was like, you don't want jelly. like we have some jelly. Like you don't want it. no, no. So they never. I've never really had a jelly that doesn't have chunks of oh. fruit in it, mm. which is why I don't like That's making peanut part. butter and jellies. Because there's always chunks of fruit, that means I need to pick out the pieces of fruit from the jelly, so but, I just rather have but, just the peanut butter. But, yeah. so that's why. But I like the jelly. Yeah, peanut butter because, jelly. Yeah. A normal well, person. I will make him yeah. peanut butter and jelly. Right. But he doesn't care. So it's about the fruit like, part. So. It's so I funny too because the, I love jellies with like the bigger the chunks, the better. Like that what? is so good. That's so gross. <laughs> Okay. Okay, what do we got next, bud? What has been the hardest strange in racing? <laughs> Pretty close. What does it say? What has been the hardest stage in raising a kid? Every day. <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't know because obviously it it has different challenges in different stages. But I will say that like my, the toughest one for me was the no sleep in the beginning. You're constantly afraid, are they breathing? Are they, are they okay? Like, are they comfortable? You know, are they fed? Do they need to go to the bathroom? Do they need to be changed? Like, you know, I think that later in his life, we've been able to be like, okay, he's hanging out, he's playing video games, watching a show, like, you know, he's doing his homework and we can just kind of relax a little bit. I don't have to be like, is he breathing? Is he going? <laughs> you know, like just terrified constantly. I, and I, I would say that was the hardest one for me anyway. What about, what do you think? When he was two, two to three. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a that was a rough one. Yeah, yeah. he was just out of control. <laughs> hey, <didn't you> <laughs> so and then he just comes in and just drops a bomb on us. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
Stinky baby. But definitely two to three. He was like the most out of control and could move. Right. That so was that was so tough because you got to just literally be next to him 24-7 as well. Little farter baby yeah. over here. Yeah. There's a little gassy. He can't, he can't communicate with you still, so it's, right. it's tough. And he would get very frustrated because he would know what he wanted. And, then, yeah. and he was gassy back then, too. 